Hey, I want to say this. I want to talk about excessive violence. Excessive violence will destroy your life and it will shape your world. Um, law of attraction, law of correspondence, law of cause and effect. Um, those are three laws that will destroy your life if you're a very violent person. Um, if you're someone who, who plays with, with guns and stuff like that. Now, like I said, like, well, I didn't say anything, but, um, just so you know, if you have, like, weapons to defend yourself, maybe you collect weapons, maybe you're just into them, but you don't use it for, like, negative things, this doesn't go with you. It's about those who spread negativity and hate and violence amongst people, amongst the world. You will attract that back. And if you do it so much, you'll be so you'll be in so deep that will be so hard to get out of it. Understand that when you do these things, you're going, you're you're creating the world. Your actions create your your um your individual world. So if you're going to be a super violent person and you're just hurting people all the time, it's going to it's going to um, manifest back to you. It's like a manga that's really good at showing that is. Yu Yu Hakusho is good at showing that. Uh, Bleach is good at showing that. At least Bleach in the beginning. Let me talk about him for a minute. Like, Yu Yu Hakusho, like, if you watch Yu Yu Hakusho, you know, um, um, Kubara and Yusuke, you're a um, they're both, um, delinquents, middle school delinquents. And, you know, it's kind of like what I was saying in my bullying video, right? Where, like, that's why, like, I kind of, like, I like these these manga because they remind me of me when I was younger, when I was in middle school. You know, doing a lot of fucking people, fighting people, all these different things. Um, Not because you're trying to bully anyone. You don't even care if they're... You're not trying to do it because they're weak or even if they're strong. You're just trying to get that energy out. So that kind of goes with what I was saying before with being, like, a delinquent or being a bully. Um, Because, like, they were in it so much... Like, and they're so proud of it, and they're in it so much that every time they'll they'll go around and and they'll brag about it and everything like that, they will end up caught coming across trouble, coming across, like, a rival uh, gang member or coming across someone who will want to fight them or whatever. They'll always just constantly be coming across that kind of stuff. Um, another thing is, is Bleach as well. Uh, Ichigo is a troublemaker. So he would often come across fighting as well. Oh, yeah, and also another thing too is with um, with Yuri Meshi. Yeah, his mom. He he just had his mom in his life, and his mom was very neglectful, and narcissistic. You know, she she cared about him being alive and everything like that. But if he's alive, she's like, okay, whatever. He's alive. She takes she takes him for granted. So if he's alive, she doesn't give a fuck. Okay, cool. He's there. I can rely on him. He's alive. But she doesn't. She's emotionally unavailable. She doesn't really take care of him. He does. She doesn't feed him or anything like that. He just has to do everything on his own, and he doesn't have a father in his life. And every guy that's in his life, man, tries to like manipulate him or treat him harshly or just shit on him or whatever. And that's a, another thing with a lot of delinquents as well. A lot of them who have genuine hearts, pure hearts. Um, I didn't go through this, but a lot of people who have genuine hearts, they'll often be mocked for who they are, where they came from, or, or treated poorly by, by adults and and mocked on. I had this situation with adults, but not with that. It'll be more so about being an ideal man. Oh, you need to look after the women in your life. Oh, oh there's just like these guys who just don't do anything and, and treat women poorly and just use them or whatever. And they'll tell me how I should be as a fucking child. Like, and they'll try to check me and shit like that. I used to fucking hate that shit. Like, who the fuck are you, dude? You're a fucking loser. Don't tell me what, how to live my life or who I am or whatever. You don't know shit. But anyway, back to back to this. Yeah, you know? And then, like, um, Achigo, you know, he was a troublemaker as well. He used to get in, like, a lot of fights as well. And another, another one I like, too, is... Shonen Jumnai? Shonen, Shonen Jum, Junai? Jumai? Uh, I forgot how you say it, but um, pretty much it's um the prequel to to, to GTO, the Great Teacher Onizuka, is when him and um Aki, uh, no he is Akichi, him and 
fuck, I forgot his name, his best friend's name, uh, when they were uh, in middle school. Um, man, I didn't finish the manga. Oh my gosh. Imagine if there was an anime, but um, I didn't finish the manga. Oh my gosh. We should, we should make an anime if that's possible. I would help. <laughs> but um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, they, as teenagers or as preteens or whatever the fuck, they were getting a lot of trouble and um, they were delinquents and they were just getting fights all the time. All the time they were just getting into fights. And um and yeah, they'll just like they'll just be walking around, they'll just find like a rival gang gang or whatever, come across them and, and cause trouble. But it's similar to like uh Yurameshi and Kuribara, they took pride in these things. Um but anyway, what I'm pretty much trying to say is who you are and your actions and how you treat the world, uh, depicts your life. You attract your life you attract that with correspondence because correspondence tells us that the people that we attract in our life are similar to us. And um, law of attraction tells us that the actions that we that we put out there, or not the actions, the, the way we treat the world is the way the world will treat us. And cause and effect is, um, there's a there's a cause, there's a butterfly effect for every action that we, that we make. So if you do things that are negative, uh, don't be surprised if negative things happen. So those laws kind of make it to where if you're a violent person and you're spreading all this violence or this negativity, you're going to find yourself in that, you know, constantly in that, you know. So if you're not a violent person, you probably won't see these things. You probably won't ever see it. You know, if you're a positive person, you probably won't really ever see that, you know, unless you see it like online or whatever. But it's really important to understand that if you spread so much violence and so much negativity, you're going to be stuck with attracting people who are like that. And eventually you may realize that this is not an ideal way to live life because now you're stuck with all the low vibing people who are very violent and very destructive, you know. And like I said, you know, defending yourself and, and, and you know, having an interest and in like weapons or whatever, it's not like that it's, it won't cause that to happen it's about negativity and spreading all this negativity and how you treat others that's what causes those things to happen but it's yeah, it's very important to understand how your actions uh, um shape your vault your world cultivate your world um and even with just like negativity in general you know if you a hateful person don't be surprised if you come around hate a lot of people they're like oh people are hateful Oh, people are violent. Oh, oh, people. I don't trust people. This that. If you don't trust people, and um, if you don't trust people, then it's probably because of you, right? Like for me, for me, like when like a lot of the negative stuff I come across are from family, right? But when but since I'm a genuine person, when I go outside, people treat me with respect. Now I'm not able to attract the things that I, that I deserve to attract on the fullest scale because I'm still tied to these energies, to these low energies, and it's messing me up from being able to attract what I truly deserve to attract. But if you're over here attracting negative people all the time, it's probably because you're a negative person. That's the truth. You attract who you are. So if you're constantly, like, cynical or you feel like the world, is, you can't trust people, you probably can't trust yourself. If you feel like you can't, you feel like people are nosy that you attract, it's probably because you're nosy, right? If you feel like people aren't trustworthy or people are hurtful or hateful or whatever, that's probably because of you. Man, you're probably like that. You attract people who are similar to you. Correspondence. That's correspondence. But yeah, it's really important to understand that you cultivate your world. So don't hate the world if you're living a life that's not ideal, you know? If you come from an environment that's not healthy for you, work on yourself and know what you need to need to do. You may deal with people who are very not so nice to you and whatever, but you just deal with that and eventually you you'll be you'll um you'll be free from it. Something else I want to talk about is this is that a lot of people don't know this. When your frequencies rise and when you start aligning yourself with people who are more ideal for you, well, 
No, when you when your frequencies start rising, and you start um, opening yourself to a world that you're more ideal for, and you're aligning yourself with a world that you're more ideal for, and you're aligning yourself with people who are more ideal for you, you may notice that your foundation is is faltering. People around you aren't talking to you. People around you are are, are suddenly not kind to you. I'm going through it right now. People around you are treating you harshly or or you're losing your job or people are dying or whatever like all these different things that are happening or someone cheats on you someone dumps you whatever people that you were relying on for a little bit are no longer reliable in your life or they're just leaving your life and understand that this happens because they're falling out of alignment with you because now you're outgrowing them and, and they're falling out of alignment with you. So now that they're falling out of alignment with you, they have to prepare for a life without you. Um, I guess I'll do this. Yeah, I'll use Emeru, for example. I don't know Emeru's life. Um, Emeru is a YouTuber. No, not a YouTuber. She's a, a Twitch streamer. Um, I think I came across her videos like last year, just randomly, it just kept popping up, just randomly, just kept popping up. And then I looked into her and she's very interesting. Um, and she should be my pianist if she's interested, you know, and she's a very interesting person and she reminds me of myself. Um, uh, not, we're like literally not the same person at all. We have similar interests and similar, uh, similar interests, but I feel like kind of like, we're both misfits in this world. Um, so I feel like we can kind of relate in that sense because I can tell who's like a misfit and who's not a misfit. You know, who's pseudo, who's a pseudo human and who's not. I can tell easily now. And she's definitely one of those. But she's surrounded by people who are just regular humans. Um, but um, yeah, I wanted to say that because I remember she said she met Shaq. And then when she met Shaq and Shaq said like, you know, um said that like me i think to like her boyfriend that like oh yeah he's that she you know she looks good or whatever something like that and she felt really like validated from that um she said after that her life went downhill <laughs> like things started just like falling apart and i feel like that's probably because i feel like she's falling out of alignment with what's around her and coming into alignment with what's really for her. I feel like a lot of us become so comfortable with what we're used to and everything like that, that we fail to realize that if we don't feel all that satisfied where we're at, it's because there's something better out there for us and we're just waiting for it to happen. You know, we have to work on ourselves and we just have to wait for the right time to come across these things. But I feel like that's it. And also I do feel like Emeru is definitely someone I can end up being friends with. She seems like someone I would love to be friends with. I even like, she plays piano. I really like her piano skills. I think she should practice it more. I would love to hear her play. And if she want to be in a band with me, we can do it if you're down. Um, And, you know, I like that she listens to, like, I like her, I like that she listens to, like, a lot of, like, video game music. And I can tell that, like, she's probably inspired, like, with the piano, like, her sound is probably, like, more, like, akin with, like, m music from, like, video games. That's how I am with my music. You know, I like the songs from the, the games I used to play. You know, that's what inspired me to really be into music, the video games I used to listen to or uh, play, the songs I used to listen to from them. But, um, yeah, and the thing about it's funny about Shaq is because Shaq is from New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey as well, so I thought that's just, I was like, oh, yeah, coincidences. I always pay attention to coincidences. But yeah, you know, something like that pretty much is what I'm saying. It's like um, when you feel like your foundation is faltering uh, or, you know, things just aren't working out, like things you're comfortable with is, is just going away. That's because your life is going through a tower moment. And, you know, tower moments happen when when there's no use for the faulty um, shelter or home or, what, or environment that you either embodied or you or you took as your owner that you build up it was faulty that's why it, it's it's falling apart because it's faulty you know so that means it's time for you to align with where you're really supposed to be so you can truly be happy 
Because a lot of us, we think we're happy where we're at, but we're really not. We're just going with it. And a lot of us, we just so used to just getting the short end of the stick. And we just live our life on autopilot that, you know, the people around us, we may not really be satisfied with them. We may not be satisfied with the relationships that we keep attracting, but we keep on doing it anyway, or the or the the people or, or the or the jobs or whatever, but we keep going with it because because we're so used to it. And we fail to realize that there's better things out there and what we truly desire is out there, but we just have to allow ourselves to have that, you know, and go after that. But if we keep on going for the same shit and we keep blocking ourselves off from from having the chance to align with things that are better for us then we end up being asked out and we end up being in these states of stagnancy or decay or whatever. But yeah, I wanted to say that.